Hey, Tim here from timscomputerfix.net. Hey, this is a little bit of a along for the ride type of video. I'm going to kind of take you along for the ride as I take a, off of a, off a, a screen out of this Toshiba laptop. It's not really a repair video. This is more of along the lines of showing you some pitfalls that you might run into when taking a screen out of a laptop. But more importantly, this video really is about uh, ordering screens. Uh, there are a few pitfalls you can fall into when ordering screens. So if you kind of follow along, watch along here, you'll see uh, exactly what I mean. So uh, yeah, enjoy. So really, I'm just going to start off right here. The very first thing we're going to do on this Toshiba, this is a Toshiba, this is a Toshiba Satellite L855-S5405. This has a Windows 8 operating system running on it. But we're just going to remove our battery. That's the very first thing we're going to do. And from that point, we'll just work on getting the bezel here removed. There may or may not be screws underneath these two tabs right here. I would say there probably is. And it looks like there are two tabs down here on the bottom left and right. So we'll give you a little bit of a closer look on that real quick. Looks like we have a tab here and a tab here. Oops, tab there. We got some tabs down. Yeah, so let's see if these need to be removed. Okay, and one of the ways, you know, if you're really unsure if there are any screws or anything around your bezel corners or whatever, usually that's a dead giveaway, these little tabs. But another way you could, you know, know for sure is if you kind of go in and and you want to, you know, just kind of halfway take it off. You can unsnap the bezel like so. And then when you get right around to this corner where you think there might be a screw or you suspect there might be a screw holding this into place, it gets really tight right here. So you can't, you can't pull it away. It doesn't unsnap like, like the rest of this bezel does here. See, that unsnaps. So it comes apart here. But when you get to this corner, it gets real tight. And your fingertips and that'll let you know there's a screw there so we now know definitely that there are two screws in these two spots areas right here probably so at the bottom too so we're going to go ahead and remove remove these screws all right so what we're going to use here to remove these little tabs we're going to use a uh, a bit of a sharp end here just as long as we're careful that should be fine Walk over here to this end here. And we'll just kind of see if we can just pry up on this tab. Like so. Yep. And off that comes. All right. And you got to be careful as I did. I just dropped it right here. It kind of rolled down. That's okay. Okay, so we, we got that right here. One tab. I'll just put these in a little Ziploc bag. For safekeeping, it's a cosmetic thing. All right, so that one's in there. Okay, and then here comes the other one. Let me get you another closer look here. We just pry it up like so, nice and easy. Yep, and there that is. Yep, like that. Okay, got two in here now. And then there is two more down here. There's 
one. I think I've lost where that went. It's tricky. It's working here on this black surface here. There it is. Found it. <laughs> yep. Probably not the best thing here working on this black matted surface here. But we'll be okay. I'll work through it. There's another one here. You don't want to scratch the bezel or anything, but we're just using this to get the tabs off. Yep. There's another one. We'll just put it here. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take these screws out. Here's another one. Here's another one. One more. Now the biggest pitfall of, of uh, screen repairs, you know, they're all fairly straightforward for the most part. There are some tricky ones, but there's always a pitfall, and one of them could be, you know, ordering the wrong screen. I'm going to show you here in a minute. So we're going to take show you how we can get around that or be a way that we can assure that we're getting the correct screen. So we can unsnap the top here. We're going to unsnap the sides. Taking all four screws out. Snap the sides here. Like so. Down here. Turn it around. snaps on and we just be kind of careful when we get down to uh, bottom part here just kind of gently unsnap it and then we have uh, these hinge covers here that are kind of snapped on like so Okay, and there's our bezel. Relatively simple, right? No issues there. Okay. Just having a quick look to be sure all of our grommets here look okay. Do these screws go in? I can see our hinges down here. Just having a little look to see. Make sure all that looks okay. All right, now that looks fine. And then, and then this screen is being held on by uh, a metal bracket that runs down the side right here. So basically there are, well if you could see, there are uh, three screws. One, two, and then there's a really tricky one down in this corner right here. And uh, you know, that one may require that one may require us to actually remove this back lid away from the from the hinge area. As a matter of fact, that's probably what we're going to do. So let's see, have a look here. I'm just trying to see and be sure that's how that's connected and it looks like it is. One thing you don't want to do, by the way, is you see here how the top lid is now separated and has no support from the screen. So you don't want to take the, the top lid and push back like you're trying to open the laptop. You don't want to just take that because that's going to put a lot of stress down here on these bottom grommets. You want to take the whole screen. The whole screen is what's attached to the hinges down here with these with these arms on the sides. So if you have to open the laptop more at this point, you want to push the whole screen. You want to move the screen itself. Not not don't use the back lid. Move the hinges with the screen because it's attached to the hinges at the moment. 
So anyways, what I think we're going to go ahead and do here is uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can just remove this back lid. Okay, like I said, my issue here is I can, I can get to these screws, two of them, but there's a third one. Sorry about the cable there. There's a third one down there. See it? That's right behind the top lid. And that is down here near where the hinge area is. So I don't want to put a lot of pressure in separating the top lid. Because at the moment, the only thing holding this top lid on is that one screw. And underneath that screw is a grommet like that. And we don't want to put stress on that grommet. We don't want to put stress that grommet out right there. So I'm just going to take this screw out. Same thing on this side. We'll take this screw out. And then we should be able to sort of just remove this back lid a little bit to relieve that pressure. Sometimes just loosening it might help. We'll see what happens. Sometimes I can just loosen that. So what I've done now was uh, loosen this screw, which now gives me more play to remove that last, that third screw. Okay, so I don't have to put all kinds of pressure on this top lid. Okay, so let me just do the same thing to this side. Do the same thing here to give us a little more room. Oh yeah. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and take these screws out now. There's one. There's two. There's the third one that fell down there. We'll, we'll find that a little later. So now you can see I'm loose on that end. I'll just gently pick this up and move it over. There's one. There's two. And here comes the third. Okay. And then now, we just basically, knowing that there's ribbon cables attached to the screen, as usual, we'll just gently fold this back. And then that's going to expose our cable to remove the screen. Pretty standard stuff. But now here's where the part that uh, comes into play. So, when you order a screen for a laptop, or I would say for any device, computer, any kind of netbook, power book, laptop, anything like that. You, know, you, you, you don't want to just order from the make and model of the computer. This, you don't want to go on eBay or something or, or Google and say satellite L855 dash S405 screen. And then, and then they'll show you a list of screens and you'll say, oh, that's it, it must be it since it said, since it said that make a model of the computer. You always want to contact or look for or even Google, contact a vendor or whatever, and be sure you read these numbers to them. Be sure that they know these numbers here. The N15, these first numbers, the 1 and the 5 and the 6, is basically says that it's a 15.6. So in 15.6, N156, that's another way to know exact screen size too, is usually after that first letter, there's three numbers, and those three numbers is the screen size. This is a 15.6. N15B9-L0B. And then this revision number here is really important. Make sure it's a revision C1. And in this case, sometimes they'll ask 
if the connectors are on the top or the bottom. If you're facing the laptop, in this case, it's at the bottom. But we want to be sure we match these up or at least know for a fact that it's compatible with this, not the make and model of the computer. You might get lucky and get the right one off the make and model of the computer, and that, and that might be the way that you've done it if you're doing, you know, if you're doing screen repairs. But I can promise you this, because this happened to me a lot. You will get bit one day. You will get bit when, when you order the screen off of eBay or off of Google or wherever, and you just punch in the make and model of the computer, and then the screen gets shipped out to you. Sooner or later, and more than likely sooner, you're going to get bit by that. You're going to end up getting a screen that's not compatible, even though it says it's compatible with the model computer. So just a bit of heads up there. Hey Apples, Tim, Tim's computer. Hi Tim. Hey, how are you? good, how are you? Good, good. Very good. Can I get a price on a screen, please? Yeah, yeah sure. It's a Toshiba Satellite L L855 dash S405. S405. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the model of the screen is uh, N is in Nancy, uh -huh. one five six, uh -huh. B six dash L zero B, re revision C one. Uh -huh. 